Hello everybody and welcome to my Raspberry Pi tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to be talking about everything Raspberry Pi, um, but initially just the basic setting up of Raspberry Pi. If you look around online, um, I assume a lot of you guys probably are watching this before you even have a Raspberry Pi, um, but if you look around online it looks like, ooh man, that might be kind of difficult to set up a Raspberry Pi, I don't really know what I'm doing, but it's actually very, very easy. So initially, when you finally buy your Raspberry Pi, it's gonna, your little bundle of joy is going to come in this box. And within the box will just be the board that contains um, your Raspberry Pi. So let me set the camera down here. And when you open it up, um, this is all that's in there, basically. And we'll just go ahead and take her out. So this is what you get with your Raspberry Pi. You've got audio, RCA, you've got uh, some I.O. here, we'll be talking a lot about this one. Um, and uh, you've got, if you've got uh, the Ethernet, one that has Ethernet, you'll have an Ethernet uh, spot there for a Cat5 cable. Over here you've got your HDMI, which is nice. You've got a couple USB, obviously you can slap in a, a USB extender there. And finally you have a, uh, well your power spot basically. And that power is, even though a lot of people try to sell you a power, like Raspberry Pi power cables, really all you need is a cell phone charger, okay? And you want to have some, it's, it's got to be pushing 5 volts at preferably uh, over 1,000 plus milliamps, but it can be anything as low as 700 milliamps. So just find something that does that. Basically, a cell phone charger, that's what's going to do it. 700 milliamps is, is more than fine if you're running it headless, but if you're connecting monitor, you've got some ethernet coming in and out, and you've got some USB mouse and keyboard being uh, pushed out of this thing, you're gonna need more likely around 1,000 milliamps or more, just so it's stable. That way, like, uh, ebbs and flows aren't gonna just shut the thing down, because the last thing you wanna do is have this thing turn off on you. Uh, it's really unstable as far as the SD card is concerned. I've already had my SD card has been corrupted like three times, mostly due to overclocking. Anyway, um, so that's that. You're also going to obviously want um, something. Uh, you don't have to buy one specifically for the board, right? But at least in the initial setup, you're going to want to have a monitor, keyboard. Um, probably just a monitor and keyboard is probably the best thing to have immediately. Uh, you could have a mouse just to make it a little easier, but for the most part, monitor, keyboard, and an SD card. Um, usually it's not going to come with any of those things because they just kind of assume that everybody has a monitor, an SD card, a cell phone with a charger. So, yeah, you just need one of those little micro USB uh, things to charge it. Or really just plug it in. There's no on-off switch, so if it's plugged in, it's on. Um, and then the other thing I would just recommend is you get one of these little cases. I'll, I'll show you guys with it in the case in a bit, but this is kind of what it looks like. You just kind of piece the case together. Um, I see this one a lot everywhere. I'm actually really happy with it. The fit is like perfect, and I think it looks okay. I like that it's clear because I like to look at the board. But there's tons of cases. I highly suggest you get one, but otherwise dust will fall in here. And the last thing you want is eventually dust to cover over this little itty bitty baby processor here, basically. Because then it's going to insulate a lot of heat. So anyway, uh, that's that with the basics. Next thing I'm going to be showing you guys is how to prepare your SD card to put on the operating system and uh, set that up and then base and then eventually we'll get this bad boy turned on and I'll show you guys how easy it is to get uh, everything set up and at least get to a desktop. So that's what everybody, you know, you're familiar with seeing a desktop. So uh, we will be getting to that point and have no fear, it's very simple. So. As always, thank you for watching, thank you for your support, your subscriptions, and until next time.